someone said, what is the biggest threat to humanity? And I will never forget the answer. And they said, cloning. Was that backdrop people don't have a soul. When you, when and we started to get on the subject of like something without a soul. I mean, a clone. You're now yeah. operated with these micro nano technology chips. Like the so nanotechnology is crazy nowadays. Did. But then it's who's playing the computer. Mm-hmm. I actually don't know if I believe in this or not. I don't um, know in my soul if that feels true or not. Yeah. Because I think, what, because the other thing that was kind of interesting f for me to hear was that backdrop people don't have a soul. And so I kind of sat with that because I obviously, when I work in the records, I work with the soul. So yeah. like my work is to constantly be connected to soul. And so to even consider a possibility that's, that a human or that another life force or anything that's on this planet that's alive doesn't have that, it kind of trips me up. I'm like, oh, hold up, wait a minute. I don't know about that. Yeah. So I don't even know if I where I stand. Well, yeah, I mean, it would be like something that I could see. You know, I mean, the way I look at it for people that say like touched by an angel or so like that, it's clearly like a higher a sentient being that's kind of like working the magic arm of God. Right. You know? And so those are even more evolved souls, not less evolved in, in right. that, in that spectrum, you know? But I mean, the only thing that I could rationalize and put my head around would be, you know, they say that, you know, the, the sands of time, the ribbons of time, uh, wrap around each other. Right. And so what is the past is also the present, which is also the future and all, all realities exist on all planes at a simultaneous point. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you get into that type of mindset, okay, follow me for a second. Then I could see that from our development, at least in this timeline, is that in probably five to 10 years, you're going to see very human-like robotics, right? Mm -hmm. And they can even maybe, you know, feel, touch, look like a human with artificial skin, everything mm -hmm. like that, hair, all of that, you know? And so mm. if we got to a point where humans were more robotic or if they could implant a chip into the physical body to control even flesh of the organisms and cells, because this is a tangent, but there's really no reason why we should age, right? And, and I say that because every cell, if it continues to maintain in its integrity, Every cell is in, in encrypted with your whole sequence of, of your DNA, and it has the ability to replicate and, and duplicate, and old cells die. And every seven years, every single cell of your body is new, right? And so if every seven years, your whole body is a new organism, right? Mm -hmm. So there's no reason why that needs to continue to be an aging organism, mm -hmm. right? If they figure it out, you know, so I've studied a little bit on this, but um, your chromosomes, there's like on the edges of the chromosomes, there's like these little like tail things or whatever. And they say like every time it, it, it splits, you know, and regenerates, like a little part of the, that tail part goes off. They, they're not sure if this is what contributes to aging or not. But there should be no reason why, like whatever the figuring it out of how these cells slightly mutate over time that forms the appearance of aging mm -hmm. in a physical, if they tap in and they can communicate or heal that with a vibration or computer chip or whatnot and kind of communicate with those cells, there should be no reason why a body needs to ever die. Mm -hmm. And if a body doesn't die and the soul goes somewhere, I mean, I'm getting out there, but if that could be where I think in like, you know, a future timeline self, they could actually even have us feel like skin, mm. even have us exhibit certain signs of aging if they need the people to play out, but be a computer chip that's controlling it the whole time. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one, you know, the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, that would be how I would see the soulless people. But, you know, in more plugged into like a computer simulated 
world where they're like kind of controlling oh no 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 they program that that person to do these little things but Hmm. yeah other than that though i don't know like i feel like every animal has a soul yeah i know i mean i feel you know when we uh are teaching the beginning certification how to read the records we teach people how to access the records of something else having a life force so like the selenite like um you know piggy um even this studio liberate uh, you know studios like has a life force of its own so everything has a life force. So f- it just feels like it's a limitation to say that something that is participating does not have that substance, that life force substance. Mm-hmm. Like there has to be something. But I do remember this was um, pretty early on. This was in my Akashic Record practice five, like five years ago. Um, one of my friends, two of my friends and I were just having fun with the records and like asking like, questions that are totally out there. Like were dinosaurs real, like everything. And my friend said, what is the biggest threat to humanity? And I will never forget the answer. And they said cloning. Mm -hmm. So probably everyone has their own perspective on what the biggest threat to humanity is. Right. I mean, it's so many things, but, but when, when you, when we started to get on the subject of like something without a soul, I mean, a clone yeah, no, the, the clone or that artificial, like, you know, because, yeah, because they can, they, and that's what I was kind of getting at, like, they can make a body, you know, they can clone you, right, yeah. you know, and then there's you over there, and instead of you operated with a soul, you're now operated with these micro nano technology chips or whatever that, you know, are so hmm. small I mean, if they can do like little microscopic surgery nowadays and if they can have little tiny like things travel through your bloodstream and they can computer control it, like the nanotechnology is crazy nowadays. I I mean, it's just going to take a little bit of time in our timeline. But see, this is goes back to what I'm saying. Like, I think that that reality isn't too far out that there would be physical beings running around without souls that somebody has the intention, but then it's who's playing the computer. Mm -hmm. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.